Hey boo, how are you? So right now it is Sunday evening and I just got off of work and I'm just so excited to talk to y'all because we got a sale coming up, all right? And I know there's a lot of buzz going around about the sale. I don't have very much insider information, but I am so excited to talk about this particular sale. Let's talk about my predictions. Let's talk about some of the things that's going to be coming out in the sale, some of the things that I hope, and then let's just chat about it. If you got some information, go ahead and put it in the comments because we share here, like we are not gatekeeping any type of information. So everything that I have that I'm talking about in this video, it is actually online on bbwinc.com which is the official press release of bath and body works website so i'm not really citing some untrue sources per se i'm just kind of using their information and coming up with my own little predictions and stuff like that so how was y'all weekend I hope you had the opportunity to do some self-care type of stuff. I think this weekend, I well, I know this weekend I only worked out once. Saturday was an off day, but I did my normal. I went to gymnastics. I went to BB Dubs. I did not go grocery shopping or anything like that because it's kind of been hard to get into the groove of things lately. But nonetheless, I'm excited to be sitting here talking to you so i did take some notes buzz is the first things first is the buzz is on the 14th we are going to get a body care sale so if this sale is anything like last year's the price point should be around 4.95 last year it was coded, meaning that you had to put a coal in so that you can get that $4.95 price point. That's kind of a bummer for those of us who are kind of saving our coupons or if you really, really want to get the low, low, low. But I just remember last year it was coded. So the things that we are going to see, this was previewed in the app. We are going to be getting You're the One returning. I actually have You're the One. You're the one has actually been um, in my chopping block behind my door and my box of unhauled things. So you're the one. What are the notes? Let's talk about that first. This one is white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. It is truly, truly, truly a beast mold perfume scent. So when you think about top five beast molds, you're the one is going to be in one of them. I mean, when you spread just a dot, not a lot, because it it, it, it projects. And that's kind of why I want, want to unhaul it. Like, I can't believe I want to unhaul a scent because the sillage is too big for me. But that's exactly why. I also feel like it smells so heavy, like perfume. I do get the strawberry, but it's that like sparkling sharp strawberry and it is backed up with that rose but I'm, I'm starting to learn I, I don't like rose so with the rose and the strawberry in that birch or that woods note it's just in my opinion too much think about if you have Valentino's Donna Born and Roma or if you have think about mixing petal parade with covered in roses at in some woods that's kind of what i got from here so i got this and the lotion my daughter has been wearing the lotion that's probably the only reason why i haven't officially unhauled it but yeah it's gonna be returning next another return is another beast mode which is forever red this packaging i have is from i want to say 2021 this one is fiery pomegranate red peony rich vanilla rum and oak wood this one is a beast mode um to me it smells like the rum you get that rum on the first spray for sure so i would say the rum is in the top notes and then on the dry down you eventually get that pomegranate and then that woods kind of gives it a little bit of muskiness but that peony does sharpen it up to be a little bit more perfumey um i can admit i hardly wear forever red but i like forever red 
It almost didn't make my last declutter, y'all. The only reason why it's still here is because it's re-coming back out and I wanted to make sure that I had it in my collection to talk to y'all about it. So yeah, those two are going to be coming out we are I, I, if you're excited about it i probably would be a little bit more excited for forever red another exciting drop that i am so looking forward to is the emily in paris drop i have no idea about emily in paris i hardly watch a lot of tv but i'm told that it is by the producers of 90210 and it's a show on netflix set in paris and i'm excited for it so in this one i heard well i saw that it's going to be a array of body care there's going to be some lipsticks there's going to be candles decor sanitizers and sanitizer holders and all of the prices are going to range from 195 to 36.95 i'm assuming that 36.95 is going to be for those three wick candles which is good because on candle day if we like this drop, this will most certainly be at that lowest price point because I know like those higher price candles typically or sometimes at first don't eventually go on sale. So we are excited about this. All of these pictures you are going to be able to see on BBW Inc. First in that drop, I'm more so into the body care. So first in that drop is going to be Champagne in Paris. And the notes for this one are Champagne Spritz elderberry fizz and lily of the valley i love lily of the valley i feel like lily of the valley makes things super clean super fresh i also like champagne and i'm not sure how elderberry goes as far as being in a particular scent bubble but i'm excited to give this one a try i am a little bummed that they don't have body lotions for this one it seems to be that there will only be in body creams i did confirm that when i went to work today so i did see that there are going to be in body cream not body lotion so i may or may not be getting the body creams but I do get my gratis tomorrow and in my gratis I do get to get one of the body care items from this whole line and after I talk to y'all about these let me know which one you think I should get. So then there's Paris Amour. Paris Amour is a returning scent. This one is French Tulips apple blossom and sparkling pink champagne i unhauled this one years ago to me it smells extremely perfuming i will say however if you are a person and you want to get this paris amour and you're trying to save some coins i do know that suave i don't know if they still do but they used to have a paris scent where they had their own little shower gel in walmart so you can kind of like pair that one with that one if you still have that or if you're like a budget type of person then we have lavender lux this one is la lavande de provence i hope i said that right which in french translates to lavender from province it has flirtatious jasmine and a vanilla crush so i'm kind of wondering if that's a repackage because i feel like we have been getting some lavender and vanilla scents i feel like lavender from that clean line was lavender and vanilla and i can't remember what else i got that was lavender vanilla and jasmine hopefully if i remember i'll put a picture of it up there but i'm i'm, I'm wondering is this going to be a repackage or what what do y'all think Lastly, we're going to have Macaron Cloud. This one is the one that I'll probably pick up tomorrow for my gratis. I'm so excited. This one has Macaron Delight, Parisian Spun Sugar, and Pink Berries. So I have a pink Macaron by Victoria's Secret, and I'm wondering if it smells similar to that. This one is going to be unique, and it is a new drop, so I don't know what it's going to smell like, but I'm just so excited to pick that one up. If I smell this one and it smells like that pink macaron i will probably pick up champagne in paris because y'all know i love me a champagne and a perfume if it's $4.95, then I got a $50 gift card. Because long story short, your girl been doing her health business and my health insurance, my job has collaborated with my health insurance to give out gift cards if you're doing things like getting your mammogram, getting your annuals, getting your teeth done. And I always do that type of stuff. I'm just now signing up for the program. So I got me a $50 gift card. So I'm going to use that. According to a lot of intelligence, we will 
this one now this part is gossip we will more than likely get a preview day which is just for members only so if you are a person and you don't have a rewards account meaning that you can't put your phone number in you're not tallying up your things this is the time that you're going to want to do that yeah this is the time that you're going to going to do that because we got a preview day, I want to say last year, I'm quite sure. And the, I remember, I think this was the sale, if I'm mis not mistaken. I think this was the sale where we got the preview day like two days before or whatever. So we get this preview day, which means we can log into the app and then we can purchase the things. But the preview day is actually only going to be online. Like you can't even do a bopis or whatever. In my store... It, um, the Paris Emily in Paris is not in the store so we got it was called like offsite which is like another location in the mall that we think that it was in there so I'm not even sure if it's gonna be there tomorrow girl when I'm looking for it so yeah let's we are so excited for this sale of course the moment i get information or confirmation on exactly how much each product is i'm gonna give y'all a video on my recommendations based on what i have sniffed in the store and the information that i know to be tried and true y'all how about I was watching Making It Happen with Mary and in her video, she had said that she was on Instagram. Pink tie-dye maybe returning. Honey, when I tell you I am so excited for pink tie-dye. So I have pink tie-dye in my collection. I only have the spray and the shower gel. My body cream went bad. And long story short, I remember it's like apples and um, cotton blossom and something else. And it's a really nice, clean, sugary apple. Do y'all know, have y'all smelled teases, sugar floor by... Victoria's Secrets, that's exactly what it smells like. I also think it smells like a direct dupe to Candy Love by Escada. So that's usually what I fragrance layer it with. So I'm so excited to get pink tie-dye back. I heard also, she also said for Sass that we're gonna get Sea Island Shore back. I got a couple of backups of Sea Island Shore. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and let the girls get their own Sea Island Shore. And there's going to be some other goodies coming out with SAS, but we don't have enough information about SAS. I'm just re-spitting the information that Mary has given us. So excited for our body care sale. What are you excited to get? Is there something that you cannot wait to get your little hands on? So like I said, I went to work and I picked up a couple of my hauls. And so let's talk about our my haul. So the first thing was I had to take advantage of that room spray sale. I had to, literally had to. And so here is what I got from the room spray sale. I picked up Santa's workshop. This one is good. Pretty, um, it's pretty like a spicy, fruity. I like it. I don't know what the notes are, but I like it. Next, I picked up Vanilla Bean Noel because who don't want their home smelling like cookies? I picked up a stress relief aromatherapy. I was figuring that I could like spray this when I get home so that I can de-stress from work. I picked up stockings by the fire, which was a pretty shocking to me. I like this one. To me, it smells like a hotel or something. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, it smells like a hotel. I don't know. To me, that's what it smells like. I don't know. And then I picked up Mrs. Claus cocktail. So that's what I got from the room spray sale i also had a haul from the lip gloss sale so here's what i picked up from that sale lip gloss if you don't know it was 2.95 last week so i picked up two of these perfect and pink only because they are extremely pretty i picked up this a thousand wishes i picked up um a nourishing lip mask and sugar plum because I love 
all things sugar plum and i picked up a mint lip balm for my middle child so that's what i got from the lip sale and then today we have the um the wallflower plug-in sale oh my store was selling out left and right child but i had to get on i had to get on um mainly because my son like these but i like to put these in my house like when i have guests and i do plan on hosting some things for my family so i'm i'm, I'm trying to like get into it so i picked up snowed in i also picked up strawberry melon i picked up hot cocoa and cream I picked up Mary Cookie and I think I got two of these. Yeah, I got two Mary Cookies. I'm never going to get up an opportunity to get Mary Cookie. And I got Sugar Snickerdoodle. So yeah, that's what I got for my haul. I know I said I was on a no buy and I am. <laughs> but, um, Let's just say that being on this no buy is just like at least decreasing my inhibition to buy. Mm -hmm. I think so. Thank you for hanging in there with me with this video. If you have gotten this far, give me a strawberry for you're the one to let me know that you're still rocking with me. Until the next video, love you. Okay, bye.